In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rotate text in Google Sheets, and then we'll take a quick look at how to add borders. There are several reasons why you might want to rotate text in Google Sheets. Rotate text can help make better use of space on your sheet. Like you can see here, I'm going to be marking attendance for these meetings, but these dates are pretty wide, much wider than a check or a yes-no for these columns would be. Uh, so they can help you display this entire string without having such a wide column. It can be an effective way to create a heading or a title or add an interesting visual effect to a particular area of importance on your spreadsheet. And it can also be an, a way to make it easier for your users to skim and read on an, a crowded spreadsheet, um, certainly, and even on your basic spreadsheets. Basically, you should rotate text in Google Sheets whenever it helps you organize or better present the information on your sheet. So now that you have some ideas for why you might want to do this in Google Sheets, let's take a look at how to do it. First, select the text you want to rotate. So I'm going to select all of my dates, hold down the shift key, get them all. And now I need to find the rotation tool. You can find it under the format menu, rotation, and I'm going to want to tilt down for mine. Uh, actually, I think I'll tilt up. And so now you can see that my dates are all tilted up. But I actually want them to be at a sharper angle, and with the rotation tool, you can change the angle. So I'm going to go back to the format menu to rotation, and this time I'm going to slide down to custom angle. Right now they're at 45 degrees. I'm going to change it to 60. And you can see now they've gotten quite a bit sharp uh, on a sharper angle there. I like that. There is an alternative way to find your rotation tools, and they are on the toolbar. And they are actually, you can look and rest your mouse, and here you'll find them. And if you uh, use the arrow, then you'll see all the same options that were under the format menu, including changing the number of degrees. So that's two places where you can find the rotation tools. Uh, now that my dates aren't taking up as much width, though, I really want to adjust the width of the column. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the columns, all of the columns that the dates are in. I'm going to click on the letter for the uh, column, and I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on the last letter for the dates. And then if I right click inside my selection, one of my choices will be to resize those columns. I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and I'm going to change it from 120. I'm going to try 40. How much narrower will that be? I think it'll look good. Oh, I like it. See, now I can read all of my data on my screen without having to do that sideways scrolling. Another thing that you can do to add wow factor to your sheets is use borders. The use of borders will really make your rotated text stand out, and they'll also improve the readability of your sheet. To add borders, highlight the area of the sheet that you want to have the borders around. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click in the first cell where I want borders and go to my last cell and hold the shift key and click. And now I've selected everywhere that data will appear in my spreadsheet. I want you to pay special attention to my slanting dates there as I add the border. So I have a border tool right here. And again, if you don't know what these tools are, just hover your mouse over them and the name will pop up. So I want to go to the border tool. And when I click it, I get different options for the kind of border I want to add and where it will appear, the color that I want it to be, and the style of line that I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say I want a border around everything, all borders. And there you can see what's really cool about the dates as they slant. Now the border really makes that stand out. I can go ahead and I can do some other things here. I'm going to click on this row 
And I'm going to change the bottom border for this row. Oh, come on. Keep slow. There, finally. And I'm going to go back to the border tool, and I am going to say that on that one, I want the double line border, and I want it at the bottom. So now that really separates my uh, headers from my data. It's not time consuming or difficult to rotate text and add borders to your data in Google Sheets, but doing these things will definitely improve the readability of your spreadsheets.